So in the world of air gun hunting, we've obviously seen a huge increase in big bore air guns for big game. And many states now allow you to hunt for deer, bear, coyote, as well as other small game. Well, now you can also add turkeys to that list. But what air gun are you gonna to use to hunt turkeys with? Well, we'll find out today right here on the Air Gun Advisor. Today's show is brought to you in part by Air Guns of Arizona, High Pressure Pneumatics, Michigan's premier air gun shop, Air Force Air Guns, and Rapid Air Works. You'll find links to these and more in the descriptions down below. Now to answer the question about what air gun are you going to use to hunt turkeys with? Well, the answer is an all-American air gun produced in Wisconsin by a new air gun company known as Serpent Arms. And this is the new Serpent Arms 28 gauge air shotgun, also known as the model 550L. Now one of the secrets to this platform is the newly designed shot cartridges that are in this box right here, as well as right here, because well, you know, Serpent Arms 550L definitely comes with some, and those happen to be number 7.5 lead shells. However, you can also get number six lead, number six tungsten, and shot shells of number two steel. And shells can also be purchased for a variety of air guns, including the Seneca Wing Shot, the Umarex Hammer 50 Cal, as well as even the 72 caliber AEA Zeus. So if you have any of those air guns at home, you should definitely be heading over to Serpent Arms and checking out their shot shells. Back to the 550L that we have here in front of me. The fit and finish is very nice, has a blued barrel, and an automatic safety. As a matter of fact, you're gonna see that very well when we get to the range. You should also probably notice that the Serpent Arms has developed this air gun to utilize an inline valve system. That's why this tank is straight on the back. And this is similar to things like Air Force air guns, as well as maybe the Evan X Rex series of air guns. So it's not a brand new system, but it's a system that is tried and true. So how does this valve system work? Well, you've got the tank here, as well as the valve right at the end of the tank. And when you shoot that, well, it throws the hammer backwards, releasing that puff of air. Now, speaking of tanks, this one can be filled up to 300 bar, which is about 4,351 PSI. There's also no need to pick up a new red dot sight as well. They've included one in the box and it works great. Now one of the unique features is right down here at the end of the barrel, and just like traditional shotguns, this air shotgun is also choked. Now Serpent Arms produces three different choke sizes. These are the improved cylinder choke, the modified choke, as well as the full choke, and they all can be utilized on the 550L. Obviously this is gonna allow you to customize your platform to work best with whatever shot shell you are using. Now you might be thinking, great, they got a whole bunch of different chokes I can try, that's gonna cost me a ton of money, and they're not. They're actually $20 a pop, and you already have one in the box when you get it. So for an extra $40, you can get all the different chokes that you want to try with this platform. So the 550L Serpent Arm Shotgun, very easy system to load and use. You're gonna go ahead and first Pull the under lever all the way forward. Now I'm not gonna do that right now. And this opens the gate. That gate allows you access to the back of the barrel, which then you're gonna go ahead and insert one shot shell very easily. You'll then throw the first safety here. And it'll allow you to go ahead and bring that under lever all the way back. Now there is an automatic safety. You'll see that in the video. Uh, as I do forget about that or have a tendency to forget about that, but it's just one of those things you're gonna get used to if you're having this platform and you're utilizing it for hunting. Now, like I said, very easy, very basic system here, but it does produce some good results. And to show you that, I'm gonna go ahead and take this down to the range here in a second and show you with a 7.5 lead, what kind of action you get at 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 yards. Now, 25 and 30 yards, it is a little bit of a windy day. I try to compensate, so my targets are a little off the mark, but you'll get the idea. And then after that, well, we're gonna go ahead and throw in a shell of the number six lead, as well as a shell of the number six tungsten, so you can get a little idea of what those are like at 30 yards too. 
And while, I, while I've got a second down here filling up this Serpent Arms air shotgun, check this out. I'm going to be doing a review on this also. And then when it's up, I'll also post a link up here. But uh, check this out. I'm going to spin around so you can see what I got going on. Move the camera. There it is. Look at that. Serpent Arms also is carrying the GX compressor. And they have a heck of a deal on that. And I'll leave a link to that down below because you can get a compressor and the air shotgun. It's a killer deal. Let's see what we got. There's a turkey down there aiming right for its neck for the bullseye. Let's see what we get. <laughs> I would definitely say that's a dead turkey. Let's go ahead, refill this air gun, move the target down range, or excuse me, move the camera down range so we can see what happens at 15 yards, and then we'll get rolling again. All right, camera's moved. Let's go ahead and cock this again. Now we're talking about a, what, 15 yard shot? I don't know if you can notice from the camera and what you're watching, this air gun's got some kick. It's got some power. Now, this is a 28 gauge shotgun. And if you're wondering about caliber size, that would put you right around a 55 caliber projectile. Now, right now, this has got a choke on the end of it. So we're not gonna be shooting any slugs or anything out of it. And it's not a rifled barrel, so probably wouldn't be that great anyway. But gives you an idea that maybe down the line, you could change the barrel out and shoot some slugs too. All right, 15 yards. Safety's automatic and I forget about that all the time. Another dead turkey, I'd say, at 15 yards. Let's go ahead and refill this and go 20 yards next. So again, we are using the 7.5 lead. It's got a nice little pattern down there, especially close up. Um, you know, some of you guys might be saying, well, well, shoot, I shoot turkeys further out than that. But, you know, using an air gun like this really presents a new and unique challenge for a lot of hunters. I think that's kind of cool to be honest. All right, here we go, 20 yards. Safety got me. This red dot sight too is, uh, it's actually green in there, but it's actually not too bad. And it comes with the air gun. All right, here we go, 20 yards. Definitely shot the turkey's head off. Let's go move the camera. Okay, we did 10, 15, 20. Now we're moving out to 25 yards here. Got to move over just a hair. I imagine some of these pellets are probably going to hit the other targets, especially the one I just hit. So keep that in mind. And here we go. 25 yards safety. This is kind of cool. You see the wind is howling out there. Let's give it a second, let that wind die down. All right, 20, wait, 10, 15, 20, 25 yards. That pattern definitely opened up a little bit and 
I think my sight, I might have pulled just a little bit because it's a little off the turkey, but it's, it's a pretty good pattern. All right, move the camera one more time. We'll get that 30 yard group in for you in just a sec. Camera's been moved, target set up. 30 yard turkey shot, again, 7.5 lead. So far, this is pretty impressive. Um, getting used to it though. Like I said, the safety has been getting me, but got it that time. So let's go ahead, wind's dying. So let's go ahead and get this in while we can. I'm gonna aim just a little further left this time. There we go. I think I flinched. As a matter of fact, I know I flinched. It's got a little kick to it, kind of like a small shotgun. About as loud as a 22 caliber from a distance. Maybe a little louder. Not bad though, really not bad. What I want to do is I want to try a different load for you. This is the number six shot, and we're going to try it at 30 yards, see if we get a little tighter pattern with it. Uh, kind of uh, expand the distance that we're capable of hunting with with the Serpent Arms air shotgun. So with that being said, here we go. I would say that was a much better pattern than the number seven shot lead. That, my friends, would definitely be hunting accurate at 30 yards. 100%. Let's go ahead. We got one more here. Let's go ahead with the six tungsten. Six tungsten. is so fun to shoot and it looks like I got a little better pattern down there out of the number six tungsten shot shell too I'm really gonna say 30 yards probably pretty hunting accurate especially with a little practice on my part love this thing go out there challenge yourself to a new hunting experience try the serpent arms air shotgun and have a blast. Now that was a really cool experience getting to test out a brand new platform, a new product like this. So I wanna thank Serpent Arms for allowing that. Now this air gun isn't all roses and rainbows. And I do have one complaint. But before I get to that, I wanna ask you back home. Would you be up for a challenge of hunting turkey or some other bird game animal with an air shotgun? Obviously there might be some tools that you might consider better for the job, but it does provide you a new and unique challenge. Put that in the comments down below. I want to know your thoughts. Would you be willing to give it a shot? Now, although I do enjoy shooting this platform, there is one downside. And for me, it has to be the trigger. It's probably, well, not probably, it is one of the heaviest triggers in the marketplace and the heaviest trigger I have ever used, whether we're talking about firearms or air guns. Could you get used to it? Absolutely. Would I like to see it improved? Absolutely. As a hunting platform, the Serpent Arm Shotgun has a lot of potential. It's accurate and definitely totally fun to shoot. And one little piece of information, they look like they may be developing a slug barrel so you can do a little other big game hunting other than turkey and different birds. That slug barrel, well, I think it's going to be about 45 caliber. Not 100% sure, but keep an eye in the marketplace for that because I believe they're coming out with it. Guys, let me know. Hope you enjoyed that review. Until next time, make sure that trigger pull stays smooth, those pellets fly straight, and we'll see you right here on the Airgun Advisor.